Hey everyone. I of course hope you're doing well through these complicated times, pandemic or otherwise, and that you're safe and optimistic through it all, however involved you may be. Now, hopefully you are aware that yesterday was free comic book day for this year. kind of approaching it like a mix of the usual schedule for Saturday in May with last year's kind of through the summer throughout the summer approach so make it kind of a mid summer month Saturday Guessing coming up, we'll see how that went overall. But of course, I took part. In and obviously, this is incorrect for the time being, but oh well. Hmm. As usual, I didn't get anywhere near the full assortment that was available, but still a nice little variety that appealed to me. First from Gemstone Publishing, as usual, there's 2021's little preview version of the Overstreet Guide to Collecting Comics. Admit I didn't really look into the story behind this cover, but I believe they're both existing characters. Either way, <laughs> but it provides a little overview of. Collecting culture, how it kind of works in this day and age. Also tells it through little comic stories, such as one written by J.C. Vaughn, illustrated by Brendan and Brian Frame. Another one by the same team. I believe the second one might have been in last year's release, but eh, no worries. Again, whether or not one gets the full book. It's a nice little look at how things are. Next from IDW, there is a 30th anniversary celebration of Sonic the Hedgehog. With uh, two stories in it. Amy's New Hobby, written by Gail Galligan, art by Thomas Roethlisberger, written in Race to the Empire, a story by David Marriott, and art by Various. I'll admit I'm 
not really well versed in Sonic history and lore, but still thought it'd be fun to get this, check it out as a nice celebration of the franchise. Still a nice choice. As usual, I like to get a manga release <clears throat> among the available titles. So from Viz, Zom 100. Also featuring the Demon Slayer excerpt. Zom 100 is written by Haro Aso, art by Kotaro Takata. With Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, written on art by Koyoharu Gotoge. And heard of the main title here, but it sounds kind of interesting from what I read in the preview thing, it, I think it's a young man seeking to go through his life's bucket list while a zombie apocalypse is unfolding. I think like 100 things he hopes to do before he dies. But I have heard of Demon Slayer. like. Kind of period drama mixed with supernatural action and stuff. It's a cool little two pack. Next from Kaboom, there is R.L. Stein's Just Beyond uh, Monstrosity. Written by, of course, R.L. Stein, illustrated by Irene Flores. Assume it's an adaptation of a recent book series of his, Beyond Goosebumps. I don't know a whole lot about his work. But I can definitely tell it's an interesting. supernatural horror story aimed at young readers. Of course, noted for all ages here. It also says Disney Plus original series, so whether or not there's a book, and I guess there's a TV show. <laughs> that could be worth checking out. Then from Dark Horse, there is a new Legend of Korra story, tying in with the Nickelodeon show, with the main story, Clearing the Air, written by Kiku Hughes, art by Sam Beck, and then from the little Avatar The Last Airbender story. Matcha Makers, written by Nadia Shamas and Sarah Afagi. Afagi. Script by Nadia Shamas, art by Sarah Afagi. First one appears to be a goofy family story around. Tenzin and his family. And then the Avatar story stars Iroh. So that'll be really fun stuff to revisit this way. <clears throat> then from Mad Cave, there is Bountiful Garden, number one, 
written by Ivy Noel Weir, art by Kelly Williams. Sort of sci-fi mystery about <clears throat> a young crew in space hoping to I think like establish a space colony. And then finding like a mysterious planet. Strange artifacts and whatnot. Something to that paint, I kind of forget. <laughs> but sounds pretty cool. And finally, from American Mythology Productions, there is World of Zorro. As advertised on the cover, supernatural horror and classic adventure. <laughs> based on the well-renowned and influential action hero. This is featuring stories from Zorro, Swords of Hell, Legendary Adventures, and Flights. So let's see if it's like the credits are properly listed somewhere. Doesn't quite look like it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so the credits are kind of scattered throughout. Um, So I feel bad not being able to find it quickly, that info quickly, but it still sounds really fun. So yeah. Well, guidebook preview thing, then six comic and manga stories proper. Happy to have taken part. If you did, I hope you found some stuff to your liking. Now there was also things by around Archie, Judge Dredd, Last Kids on Earth, uh, Street Fighter, some. It's probably a little bit of something out there for every comic fan, old and new. Okay, I don't quite know how this approach will be received in the aftermath, but there's that air freshener again. <laughs> but We'll see how it goes. Like I said at the beginning, hope you're doing well through all this. With a mix of being careful and looking ahead. And whenever it occurs next year, over however long a time, I guess I'll see you then to go over what I got in Free comic book day, or summer, or whatever, 2022. See you later, folks.